Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 20 from turn 110 in the summer season of 212. And last episode ended with Guan Yu having a chance to capture the woman of his dreams. It didn't work out, but she's still stuck here with us and we get to finish this battle. It's a decisive delegate now, so we're just going to delegate it away. 71% as we predicted earlier with the 17% from decisive victory. That's pretty much as high as we can get it. So let's see how it turns out. And there we go. Now he can turn around and focus on defending the Jin province from Sun Ce who declared war against us. Uh, the Sun can pick up the successor of the War God, giving him a very nice splash damage ability. The daughter... hmm... maybe a bit of speed? She can also pick this up, but the route... Hmm, we'll take that. We'll try to go for the active ability. She doesn't have any ability, uh, items whatsoever. It's time to trade the horses away. He doesn't need this anymore. No more capturing for him. It's a nice horse, but uh, the red hair would actually give him the Steed of Loyalty bonus, which would give him a bit of charge. Item-wise, let's see what we want on him. Nothing, actually. None of these. Um, maybe the extra Siege damage bonus, because we actually don't have um, Siege weapons available. No... Burn officers here. We have the set all complete, so everything is just a bonus at this point. Extra armor piercing damage, extra melee damage, lose some melee attack rate. Not a big fan of that. Hmm. Jun's. Just the 15 diplomatic ties might be worth it. Yeah, actually, he is in the court position because I, I took the 15% armor bonus. We could also get 15%. This would be Lady uh, Bien's set, which we'll never get. This Actually, this is probably better for us economy-wise. All right, so they need a bit of time to rest up. And we'll turn them around and fight Sun Ce's forces. I think it's time to give her a better army. Mm, not necessarily Defender of the Empire, but maybe just straight up Protector of Heaven instead. Something a little bit more flexible than shield units. Especially since we will be faced up with many Axe unit from Sun Ce's faction which actually counters shields quite a bit. All right, so that's all done, and they will turn around. We'll get the marriage set up, which is the whole point of this fight. Also have Lady True. Uh, let's grab her. Zhang Yan's wife, another fictional character. We could snatch, I mean, for the armor, we're definitely going to snatch her here. Just, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. No, 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 hold on. Mary, what am I doing? And they like each other. Wonderful. All right, so we got Guan Yu's business done, right? What he wanted to do. Lu Bu's bow can go to Lu Bu, who is a well-known archer. We stripped him of his horse, so it's only fitting we return him his bow. Nope, not these. Where is it? Here. 25% range damage for him. Cool. Where's our Sea Down Cavalry? Who had them? Someone's equipped with them. Machal. We're gonna take that from you. Give you a red stallion for now. We're gonna send him out in his uh, family army here. Who is currently in a pretty rough situation, actually. Um, this will be a simple delegate. I assume a delegate value is not going to screw us. 
天下统一，啊、OK， 又进一步。Not too bad， 是他们自找的。快点儿！啊、uh, ，the movement is a pain because we're stuck on their side。扫平天下。And I can't do any recruitment. All right, she gets the splash damage, which is nice. We can't heal, so this is not actually helping us right now. Hmm. Not sure what we can give her to help us out. Maybe just some damage for now. They're going for this, which is rather annoying. Right. We're gonna dump him on the field first. And just with the general, that should stabilize a lot of the pressure here with the, you know, tower. He's unbreakable with his weapon, so we can, you know, definitely loop, and that will definitely keep it safe until he can meet up with his daughter. Interesting to see a Nanman general leading that army. All right, Hansui is pretty eager to come fight us. Uncle Hansui, we'll meet you in the field. He can't actually hit us. Let him walk out first, and then we'll hit him. Guan Yu is trying to pull back. Where is our other armies? Wei An still moving in. Although I expect some resistance soon. But they confederated, so actually their army count will actually be lowered. Whereas they could field two faction worth of armies, now they can't. We want to wrap things up over here quickly. So, are they in reinforcement range? No, can we walk towards reinforcement range? We'll let them do the attack. That way, we have movement to follow up for the next fight. This will just be a delegate, and we'll try to trap the ally right here. I can still move him out, but that's as far as we go. Ah, no reinforcement. That's fine. They will provide the burn debuff. They will run. You guys can sit inside and uh, replenish. We should try to keep them on the field. Actually, it will delay any sort of reinforcing army being claimed over here. We're gonna go take Jianning. Our goal would just be to keep fighting Meng Huo over here for a while. While they try to stabilize against Mu Lu, Guan Yu is gonna be left on island for a little bit. Ma Chao will be poking at north for now. Liu Bei's army will turn around and join them. I'm open to losing some of these, as in history. Um, Guan Yu is gonna be able to turn around next turn, so that's fine. We're missing a resource. What are we missing? Got to be one of those. Hmm. Curious. What do we lose? Yeah, I'm kind of confused. But、um, maybe entrepreneur. We lost a trade port. That's the only land we lost. That doesn't, unless it cut us off trade deals. Shi Xin's faction. Shi Xin's faction doesn't have anything. Yes,、yeah, so、I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we can trade for now. It's fine. We'll think of that as a civilian level trade, not really state trade.、I、can justify myself, justify myself getting a bit more income. Oh no! Oh, that's that got hit by a faction, the forest fire event from a faction council. That's going to be a very annoying part of the game going forward that we just can't do too much about. Wait, okay, yeah, I was like, can't build two. <laughs> that would be insane. No, not allowed. State workshop, where are you? I think we have most of the corruption under control. 
but there's still some at the local level, so we should still try to get rid of it. Alright, we will upgrade the passes. This is not the version that I want, and also it's missing some sort of resource. Do we not? Did we lose like an entrepreneur for some reason? I think that's what we lost. Or artisan? Every single weapon craftsman smith and the iron. I think it's a. If it's an entrepreneur, then it's a marketplace issue. And it's one of our tall settlements. Or did we get one from trade and now that we just don't have it? Then what if I just rush you up? That would solve the problem. Right? Guys? No? That's quite interesting how that didn't solve it. I don't mind rushing it, we have plenty of cash. Alright, we're gonna get another slot. Do another marketplace. You can build two variants. Oh, we have a bunch of kids. Let's see. Alright, we also captured a few that we want to dump. Does she have you? She does have unique abilities. Shadow of the Black Mountains. Okay. We could keep her. She's fictional. What is your set? Condensed Beauty. We don't have that yet. We'll try to look for it. Fire, fire, fire. Fire after stripping. Minus eight percent upkeep. Okay, no need to fix anything. We're just gonna fire everyone we just got. And the kids. That should be all. Okay, all right, that's done. And I think we moved everyone that we want to move. I believe all the buildings are done. We'll see what's actually missing next turn, but we'll s it's, it's fine, it's not a big issue. We could raise taxes, as I mentioned, because we got the plus 10 in the seasonal, so at least not uh, run button, but at least one tier will be fine. We even do two, wouldn't hurt for the next couple turns, but we don't really need money, so let's just continue. Oh. They are gonna take on Lu Pool. Interesting. I mean, they think they can win, obviously, but uh, we know that's not happening, so let's go. Alright, got ourselves a rainy day. Doesn't really matter for us. Um, Reinforcement coming from that side is a bit of a pain. I mean, since we're unbreakable, it doesn't really matter here. I don't have to save the, the troops inside, keep them alive, but it, it's fine. I'd rather not have any losses. Their reinforcements should be much weaker than what they have over here. I could drop these. I know someone mentioned that I can use the fire for the town. It, you know, it's pretty easy to get them onto a spot and burn them all, but I don't want units to stay inside and die, so... It's gonna pass. The towers will do the damage anyways. Alright, going over here. I'll provide the distraction. I 
Have a nice time at the beach. Alright, everyone's scared to fight me. That's good. So I have a super fast, well, decently fast horse, I guess. Silver horse now. I have a good bow. Nobody wants a piece of me. Towers definitely want a piece of you guys. You have the elephant, right? Yes. Oh, it'd be great if we capture him with a hero of victory right here. Grab the elephant off of Molu, and that's pretty much all we really need to do with him. Obviously, we're not trying to get dismounted, but our smash is really good. If I can even find myself in the middle of the enemy army. Alright, just pretend we're playing the Libu campaign for a little bit and we're just soloing armies like usual. Find ourselves inside a big cluster of enemies and just kill the elephants. There we go. Are they actually trying to move towards my units? I have to commend the effort, but uh, you guys aren't going to make it if you let me harass you like this. Might increase my cooldowns by 30 seconds. With one of their abilities. But we smash right in the center of their formation. A couple more units go down. Lost our way out. None of them still want to duel us. They used the plus 30 seconds again. Any general unbreakable? No. Okay, good. Alright, all their units are gone. Time to pull out my bow. Shoot Mulu a couple times. Alright, we win. Alright, heroic victory, giving us the best capture right here. Perhaps we can grab Mulu with his horse. Burn officer here will release. What? We want a chance with him, I guess. Nope. But yeah, Daddy Lubu showed up and took care of everything. Ah, he didn't get picked up. Unfortunately, returning to us, getting dumped back. I'm gonna convert some points over. We can wait for the assassination, perhaps. Then the intimidation dips and the whole faction kind of get ruined. Not that it's not ruined already. Alright, our cavalry can make a swift attack against this group. Leave us vulnerable to follow-up attacks, but... We should be fine. This is the type of fight that we're good at. Hello, Uncle Hansui. It's time you pay for my mother's death. Alrighty, so we're definitely very mobile, and that's our main advantage. Hmm, gorilla deployment. Sounds fun, actually. Let's try something. Too bad they're deployed way higher, because the range is... Oh, 360 degree shooting on these guys, but not well moving, I don't think so. They cannot fire while moving, so that takes away from that. But we could do something like, you know, hide in the forest, shoot them from the forest as they move across while keeping their eyes focused on something like this as bait. Wow, that unit's really bad. We should actually give him something better. We still want to keep them in front of us because we can use these, at least the tower. Not so high on the spikes because we have a lot of cavalry. We could easily run our cavalry mistakenly into them. I'm actually going to run them behind them. Oh, 
Oh, right. Anyone want to duel? Lava. Let's do it. They have an eternal rivalry system going on for bonus damage. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we got nothing here. He's done. Anybody else? I didn't think so. So you guys don't want to come up, huh? I mean, we outrange most of their units. There's a few crossbow on their side, but we don't have that many units, right? It's one quarter sides compared to what they have. So like, we don't actually shoot, like we can't beat them in a shooting contest. I can send him up, you know, with a 65% plus half damage, let him absorb some of the enemy range pressure. And we can look for a flank for a roar. We have two roars actually, that's good. Flashy wordplay also decrease morale. All right, while their attention is being grabbed by them, shift them out. I don't know if we're gonna use these. These are not gonna be very strong. Very small range. Is that a Pearl Dragon? No, Jamma Jian. Okay. Ashi wordplay. Oh, they have a cooldown reduction guy. Uh, plus five seconds on everything. Got to get out of his range. Pull him off. Come over here. We need to get in combat. Roar. There we go. Move him out. They're not going to stack, so I'm just going to shift them out. Wait, can they fire while moving? They can't. Wow, Mounty Crossbow can fire while moving? What skilled crossbowmen are we talking about here? Alright, let's kill the melee calf. Pressure up, pressure up. They don't have any more range. away now unless Hansway wants to duel okay then it's, then it's very very simple here all right we kill him pull him away or play that guy then just get out of here the next one Go away form the surround actually go help us kill general yeah, he took some damage pull him away finish that Uh, 
Uh, gotta pull out of his range. Just one cavalry is going to run down general pretty easily. All right, last unit here that really needs our help. I guess run him down. That's pretty good. If the mounted crossbowmen can shoot while moving, then they have put the best damage profile we want on horseback. He's unbreakable, I'm pretty sure. All right, swarm him. There we go. All right, pretty sh good showcase of our mobility. Uh, I might pass on that ability, to be honest. Let's go top here and go for Flame of the Phoenix. I am slightly concerned of getting double team, but we can always retreat from this position and it will be fine. Army does need some help. I don't think we're chasing him anymore. It's still a scary force, but I, I don't think we need to be that concerned. Liu Bei's force should proceed with our Han Zhong campaign with Huang Zhong, which was kind of the last thing Huang Zhong did before dying of old age. And we'll go with him. We'll leave them be. We have plenty of army. Ah, Meng Huo versus Zhuge Liang. Perfect. First, we'll snatch up some free land over here and send Wei Yan into a long march. Yong Chang. Get that converted. Man, we have so many other kids in the faction. When can our kid come of age? He's still so young. Twelve. Like twenty more turns. Ah, uh, we're gonna probably be close to victory by that point, but is it an industrialist that we're missing? Because we don't have level four state workshop or private workshop. That might be the case. Then we're just reform lock for a little bit until we can get a trade partner. I mean, our income is not hurt, which is the good news, but... Um, it's still not desirable to be in this situation. But the only thing I can think of is probably industrialist because we didn't go down that branch of the tree. We probably had one from a trade route that we had, but now it might be gone for some reason. Maybe they lost it too. All right, it's all right. Let's go get Mongol here. Uh, it's not showing us capture percentage, but hold on. I believe Zhuge Liang is going to be better. Right, so let's make him lead. I don't think I need to add too much. We'll do the Ebony Tracker. 15% extra there. That'll be pretty good. Nope, wrong, wrong button. I don't want to see the court. I want to see his uh capture rate. Personal... 75%? Very decent. We could up it, but then we'll lose a lot of the other bonuses. This, I think, maybe for 10 more percent? Ah, I think it's fine without it. Alright, let's jump into this fight. Tianning is also a really good city to add into our collection. Obviously, we'll love to capture and release Monghu again. Let's go. Ah, pouring rain. It's fine. They will charge out, most likely, given our superior 
range capabilities, and our repeating crossbowmen should be halting their advance pretty nicely. They do have elephants, so wooden stake wouldn't hurt. We don't have juggernauts for this army comp because I wanted more repeating crossbowmen, which I think is actually better. Um, not in all instances. Obviously, those flaming jets are great, but there are drawbacks. They're not like, you know, complete win alls. Mm, might have to pull them back a little, even though they need close range. We need some sort of protection up front for them. Zhangfei needs better cavalry. We need to unlock Cataphrac. There's a lot of things I want from the reform tree, but obviously it just will take time. Let's see if we can get some duels for either Zhao Yun or Zhangfei. No. No. You guys don't want to come out? Let me pop a few towers and change your tune. Think the rain's gonna save you? Oh, got a decent amount of ammo. 18, I believe. That whiffed. Okay, that's on fire already. 60 something percent. Onto this one. That whiffed. Okay, one hit. Taking a couple shots, but it's fine. We just need to get rid of this pair. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Okay, you lost your pair of gates. What are you going to do now? They might not come out, which is fine. No dueling either, which is a little bit annoying. Not even Zhao Yun, you know. Really? I pound your formation right here. All the spear units you guys have. I mean, if they're not going to charge out, we'll just soften up their front and then march our crossbow up. Yeah, these would be the units we want to wipe. Even these. Might of the Valley is pretty strong. We're just going to empty out our shots. Wait, did they have enough? For a moment there, it looked like they were charging. But then they stop. It's just like Meng Huo juking their entire team. Wait, wait, elephants out in the front? Okay, we're out of shots. What are they going to do? Not moving? Fine. Pull them way back. Still no duel. I quite like this formation. We'll lock it. And we'll just move them right up. Okay, we're in range. So you see their charge bonus, 211. Goes to zero with the suppression and the damage should be pretty insane too. And they're gone. We had 22 ammo, 
So all those arrows are actually just two clips. Who's next? They have shield, I believe. No, actually these don't have shield. Nandron Spearmen. Nandron Champions have shields. But if you don't have shield, then you're gone. I believe they're gonna be decently effective against generals, but preferably we don't waste it on them. We got shot by uh, Meng Huo's bow, but uh, just a few losses. Four units. Yeah, there's no space for him. Move him up to the front. They're going to be putting units towards us. Let's get everyone else close enough to back up. Yeah, these with the shield, it would be a little bit more difficult for us to kill, but uh, we should still do decent amount of damage against them. Drugodan can also boost range damage. I forgot about that. Man, they're really patient with the not charging out business. Friendly fire might become a situation. Pull back a little. Hmm, can't really help, but I guess we'll go and kill them. Whatever ability they used, it really damaged morale. Okay, we have some backup units. Wait, why is this elephant still standing here? That's just a visual display issue. The unit's dead, he's just standing. Yeah, we got morale hit by what? I want to know. Oh, nothing. They're actually straight up routing it. Interesting. Alright, on to the next general. So not very happy about Zhang Mazian's performance. Zhao Yun needs a better front line. Maybe, you know, what we need is the Protector of Heaven for him. It would solve the charge reflect, charge negate problem for both issues. It would be an actual spear unit. Just keep them busy until Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei has time to kill them. These units have good armor, so they can actually stand here. They don't do damage, but they won't get crippled by enemy units just charging in here. Actually, you can come up here now. Oh, you came back? Don't be annoying. Oh, face got this. I want him to route. I don't want actually him to. There you go. Is them dying will actually give boost. Right, fight the front. I'm here disabling their abilities, so we're good. 
Do you want to duel now, by any chance? You guys have... Oh my god. You're gonna die then. Alright, we're going in. Oh, well, it's unbreakable anyways, we need to kill him. Oh, Joe, he has Flame of the Phoenix, come on, let's do it. Smash. Cavalry finish him off. Front line finish this off. Zhang Fei go in, chase out everyone inside. Yeah, no walls means just a morale point. Mohu has to go down, I think, for us to have a chance here. Alright, Mohu is down, which gives him a heal. Let's go kill him now. We gotta make sure he can't use any abilities. Jumpy comes back. Go over here. Jumpy has fatigue immunity, so we'll just let him run around. No big deal. Infantry should actually just move in. Cavalry should come get him. Grab him. It's a messy fight, but uh, we should wrap things up quickly. He's back again. Let's take out 10 points of morale for everyone. Okay, we got it. All right, that was a great voice work there, uh, Bren Officer. What release? Get a chance for him. You can die. All right, really would like a administrator here, but I don't think we have a good one. A lot of industry, a lot of commerce. He could actually work. Maybe we need to cancel him from assignment work. Yeah, maybe we need to do that, even though his assignment is pretty good for satisfaction, but we might not need that anymore. Yeah, I feel like the morale just doesn't compare 30-something versus 60-something. Don't face it, has to wait. We're pretty reform-locked in terms of what we can get there. We're letting them go. We have Lubu's army still sitting here looking pretty. Daughter's gonna come. In this case... Yeah. We're stabilized. What can they do, right? We'll stall three of their armies right over there. Don't have to mess with them.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an industrialist situation. But I got nothing to help it, so... That's pretty much what we can do now. When you need to turn. We can start moving him. Yeah, that'd be good. And obviously we're moving closer and closer to Sun Tzu here. It's our chance to take Changsha officially as well. Depends on how fast they attack us. And they're not really making such a swift move. I want them to finish off the Shu Clan first. That'd be nice for us. Which piece of land do we want Monghuo to keep? Maybe here? But then he has two ways to come out and attack us, so maybe I'll let him keep this. For a little bit, but then it's spice, which we would love to. Yeah, uh, I don't know if we can get the seven capture event out. I'll try, that's the goal. Good. Don't want them to say yes anytime soon. This is where things might heat up. Let's see what happens. That's okay. We'll take this. Because we don't know how fast they will die. So I can't guarantee that we will be able to move through his land. Uh... All not willing to spy. I mean, Yunkai is someone who quote unquote worked for us and then took part in the Naman Rebellion. So I don't know what to do with him. And also, he's probably a spy right now, so we'll stay away from him. Quick look at anyone in particular we might be interested in. These are not actual flags of where they are. So he's in Ma Tong's faction, actually. Uh, Lei Tong's in Ma Tong's faction. Yes, he did kind of work for us for a little bit, but we let him go. He died around 218-ish. If we get another chance, I'll, I'll, I'll keep him. Zhang Jiang's also with Liu Bell now. Okay. Uh, he has a lot of characters. Hmm, where is Lady Me? Maybe with the Han? Liu Qi is with the Han. Actually, a better way to find out alphabetical. We met her. Actually, no, we have not met her, have we? Yeah, we have not met her, so uh, I don't know where she is. I think the Han, I think we saw her. Anyways, they hesitated, but father, father did not hesitate. Father is invading us with a siege weapon as well. Hi, dad. And yeah, we're going to need to send them some help. It's coming. It just will take a little bit of walking time. We're full healed. We can march up a little. No one's going to really interrupt us all the way over here. I'm still hoping they're not going to be trouble. See, Meng Huo needs time to actually recruit himself out onto the field again. That's the thing. Do we want to give him this? Let him keep one? Such a long walk. Three turns. Actually, if we march, it's not that bad. Yeah, let's do that. I could also do a peace bait with them just to get their armies back where they are because 
like my only objective is to fight Meng Huo, right, with them. So it's almost like we don't want to fight these armies right now and wipe them out or else we don't get the event. So I want him to like regroup and summon Meng Huo again. I can always go to war with him anytime I want. Yeah, why don't we do that? This way we'll just let them come back and then we'll keep the army on their borders and um, we're just gonna get the chance to attack them when we see him in the army. Meanwhile, they're pulling back. I'm full healed. Cut them off. Okay, they have four small armies running around. I'm gonna corner them into Jiujin and then farm generals from them from Jiujin. That's the plan. Maybe Wu's army is coming over. Okay. All right, that way we don't have to worry about that army at all. Who can we send to help over here? I mean, their army is coming up, so it's not really desperate. Got to fire a few more kids and... Bo Huai is not willing to spy anymore if he gets rejected, I believe. So I believe I can't send him out. Oh, I, I still can. Let's try again. Let's try again. They have a eunuch. Minus 10 points from auxiliary people in power. Can I potentially steal John L? Nope. Oh well. We'll run interference next turn. Wait two turns, maybe do assassination. We'll see what we can do there. Convert that. Tea. Almost spring. That's all done. Not confident how we fare against that army, but with the kiting, they ha they can kite us too. They outrange us. Town hunters are really good, and they also have siege weapon. They also have melee cav, so this could get rough. But uh, hope for the best. Uh, they can't siege us. I mean, they they, sh they with some help and the the towers in the siege. If they do siege us, we have a better chance. Obviously, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's continue here. Tall Tall wants to buy a clay warrior. Really? No. Yeah, we're still getting weapons from the weapon craftsmen, even though we're missing, I believe, industrialists. So it's not really hurting us. Does this have a set bonus? Maybe not. So he's going for Zutong. I don't mind him taking it. We'll take it right back if that's the case. This way you don't have to fight your father. They made an encampment here. Interesting. This army setup is a little weird. Encampment, we don't have any fire in this army. So it'd be difficult for us to actually break the encampment. 
I could also bait them with the encampment of my own, be like, come attack me. That might be interesting, actually. Let's see what they want to do. Alright, no changes here. We'll go with another interference. And next turn, we will have enough points to assassinate if that is an option that the game allow us to do. I can also keep lowering his points with um, discredit faction, but I think I'll rather wait. Rather wait for the potential assassination, which would pretty much be a discredit faction since the entire faction will lose a lot of authority for that turn since the leader is dead. Now, unfortunately for these armies, they're just going to have to wait for a few turns. They went back. Okay. I mean, that's that's fine with me, actually. They can't beat the Iron Mine. I don't have to be worried about that. Yeah, there's no way they beat a level 5 Iron Mine. All right, let's try to meet up with Dad. They are gonna run. Can we still reach? No. Why can't I click on this? Yeah, we'll just take the delegate. We'll let you live. But not you. Not you. Alright, we'll, we'll meet up next turn. Alright, this is where things get busy. Our version of Tribi coming right up. Please find a god art of war for us. Some formations unlock for us. We don't have any ammo, so that's not really going to do it. Oh, also, officer can do the same thing, right? We can get turtle from military expert, which is actually what we really need. Oh, but for her units, it's not going to work. This is what Guan Yu's unit actually really needs. Kind of awkward. It's on cooldown. Before the fight next turn, we'll switch it. Okay, so that's all good. Make sure we have no court issues. I don't think we will. 67's our lowest. At least from the people on the field. What about people inside? 62 is the lowest. We're fine. Then we're gonna be fine. Let's continue here.
All right, they have arrived for the encampment battle with two armies, and uh, they're gonna lose here because encampment battles, those very light gate pass battles, as long as we don't lose in the time, we win. And with a full cavalry army, it's all about kiting them out. So I'm fairly confident we'll be fine here. So let's start. All right. Way too many trees. Really do hate that. Guerrilla deployment doesn't help that much, but it does help a little. We're gonna pull away from this group. I'm gonna face the shots first. Buy time for other groups to flank. You guys will be just like running to the side to preserve a force for us to not all die. And then we'll let them come in. They have cavalry, so when they come in, they'll get killed. And in case we need to do a fire in the future, we'll have that backup plan. Charge them up, send them this way, flank them into the forest, direct charge into the melee cav, run for the hills. We're just going to here to absorb the damage. We're here to flank. And the melee cab is our main target. Uh, I'm just here to debuff you guys a little. Send them over, do a roar, do another roar. Send them out. Finish them. Those spear are going to be picked off by them. Overwhelm their cavalry with our cavalry. If you're not braced, we will pick you off. Alright, save some ammo. Planted targets to shoot at later. Alright, so their little split off force got wiped. There's this huge mountain over here. Love it, actually. Everyone on the mountain. I'll go look for a few duels. I'll be fine by myself. Mod that take command while I'm gone. Ah, cavalry running into the wooden stakes already. Good. Once again, the campaign maps out west, much better. Look at the elevation. I mean, it has to do with geography. Central Plains is called Central Plains because it's literally a plain. But the elevation dips you see here, quite nice. They're burning their own with the fire arrows. Good job. All right, we want a few duels. Good for experience and just good for eliminating a few of the enemy generals. We do have a lot of cavalry, so we're not really scared of enemy generals. They're waiting to burn it all down before going in. It's fine. They're on a timer here, so they can take their time. I just don't have a Flame of the Phoenix for him, which kind of bad. No damage ability, but even Flame of the Phoenix is not really a dueling ability. So we have a gold weapon. Yeah, that's really all we need. Comet Spear. 1.4k armor piercing does the job. Oh, Shiro, very famous general. 
in the earlier stages. Just, you know, just someone who beat Sun Jian and Cao Cao in battle. With a superior force, of course, but still. He does have an Oathorn relationship with one of them. Which one? Uh, don't be, don't be Zhang Liao. Ah, oh, it's Zhang Liao. Oh, he's actually winning against us. Oh, he did a lot. He has a gold weapon. Oh, he did a lot against us. That, that hurt. Need to roar. Let me roar, let me roar. He's trying to get on the horse. John L's trying to kill me. Uh oh, no one wants to fight me anymore. John L's here to kill me. This might be bad. Trying to do a quick roar before John L kills me. There we go. He's out of control. He wants to duel. He says I can beat him. I don't believe that with his gold weapon. Why doesn't Masio want to do anymore? You can help me heal. Young Fang as well. Alright, want to kill some of these fire archers before they burn the second half of my town. See if we can do that. Come on, let me get you. Stop burning us. Over 50, under 50%? Ah, only 6%. Okay. The snow is really helping us. We're still fast. That's our strength. 122 speed. Even without our kind of semi final rush skill, it's a different one for us, but we didn't learn it. So we don't need it. Okay, at least we kept about three quarters of our structure here, which means we should be able to do some passive damage as they pass through towards our mountain. No more dueling fun for us. We did our job. Took out one guy with gold weapon, Shiro. I can go fight him. Except for I only have silver as well, so it's not a guarantee. All right, let them slowly march towards us. Up this pretty insane looking mountain. We'll be at the edge doing the damage. capture most of the towers and they're burning it. They have the raider ability. See down cavalry, right? They're just lighting on fire. They lit that on fire too. I mean, we can't stop them. The tower's gone. Um, this one's probably going to be gone too if they get too close to it. Yep, they did it. Bad. I'm going to use you to heal. You have no weapons. Hold on, we gotta think of a plan to kite them out. Because they split their cavalry on both flanks, which might make it a little bit difficult to flank out. I don't imagine it'd be quite hard for them to actually climb up. Move these two here. Move these three here. Maybe we don't flank. Maybe we just counter charge. Alright, we got a chunk of our health back. If we can pick up Masio over here for another bit of a health boost. Close relative. I mean, he's our close relative. Killing him would actually heal us. Hello. Give us extra health for death of a close relative. Alright, I want to see how they respond against our range attack here. They're sending some cavalry up, which is pretty smart. Gonna pull back a little bit. No, we're gonna have to say no. Seems like we can flank downhill here. 
I'm gonna lend my roar over here, lend the debuff over here. Let them charge this. Should be. Oh, I don't know actually. We'll see what happens. Go this way a little bit. Yeah, we outclassed them with our cavalry. Now we kite down this way. It's close. Let's see what happens. Come on, let your bigger brother win. I think it's time to pull them out. There's really no need to go after that one. Yes! And then we're like, so sad, death of a relative. How could we have a fallen relative increase our damage? Out of control for a little bit though, that's a bad part. All right, we'll swarm drown out because we can't take care of him otherwise. Flank the cavalry, finish this one up and go after their range. At least have this reserve force that's a little bit fragile, so I'm not sure if I want to use them yet. Alright, John L's gone. Pull him out. Stop chasing. Come on out. I still have one cavalry here. Can we get back on the horse? It'd be much more useful there. Alright, that one cavalry is taking a long time. I think there's gaps. There's gaps we can go for. help out. All right, back on the horse. Go, 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 go. Yep, there are gaps. He's dead. A lot of kiting by time for our range units. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we can just win this with a charge. The morale's already really low. Roar will just do them in. They're done. Divided and conquered. Archers went from over here all the way down over here. Yeah, it's still quite fun to play with cavalry. Get a lot of flexibility. And we absolutely demolish them. Prince of the Black Mountain, we have your mom. So why don't you come with us? Mm. I think we'll just kill you. Zhang Liao, we will grab and try to return you to... Um, Cao Cao. He... he died already, but I think we'll grab him first as well. Alrighty. Domin takes over. Do Domin dies. Don Bai is now the leader. Okay, interesting. Alright, it's spring again. Uh, we'll continue here next time. Uh, our attack on Hanzhong is finally you know going to happen because the opening here finally appeared after we crushed the enemy armies i don't know what happened to ma tung's army i think it's still somewhere here he's just probably ambushed himself uh but with our main army rolling up we should be fine we'll put them away from march that's kind of dangerous mulu is on the run we are right on his tail but not fast enough but the armies don't look damaging enough to do much Especially against the mine. The salt, the, the T is a little bit more vulnerable here. If he teams up here, that could be an issue. I might to summon a couple of generals just to stabilize, but this army is depleted. Um, there she is. Shi Sin's faction. We can't get this done because of the extra minus five. I can't ultimatum him. We'll try this, because her army's on the field, I can actually grab her. So we can finally find our wife. That might be the play here. So we'll try that next time, and start picking off a bit more of Mulu's territory. 
I I really wish Sun Tzu would finish them up, but they're not. But we will get a fight against Sun Tzu. Guan Yu's army is gonna head over there and fight in Changsha as well. Things look pretty good. No one's really pushing back on us. Kingdom Wei's really like us because all the land we've given him. We'll be making inroads onto the Hanzhong region and then Guan Yu after executing Sun Tzu if we do capture him, because that would be what we want to do to return. It would go to Lady Wu first, actually, but then if we can execute her, it should go to um, Sun Quan, and then we can have a proper three kingdom. Cao Cao needs to die, Cao Ping to take over, um, and that would be three kingdoms. Liu Bei, Cao Pi, and Sun Quan, and then we'll continue from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!